thing, first of all, is your fingers are more flexible than your palms. And so we usually we catch and throw from our fingers more than our palms. The second crucial thing that people need to learn usually is their eyes. When you throw the ball up, you want to look, make sure the light, you're not throwing it into the light because that's hard to see. Throw it into a dark space so you see the light of the ball. And your eyes are looking at the ball when it's at the top, but your eyes don't look down at your hand. Look at the ball when it's up there, but don't look down at your hand. Okay? And throw it, throw it from one hand to the other. You can do it. Great! And any time the ball falls, you have to say, great! Great! Okay? One hand to the other. Okay. Great! And look straight at it. Some people do what we call peripheral vision. And you don't want to do peripheral vision yet. Go ahead and do focal vision. Look straight at it when it's up there. Great! Okay, not too high, not too high, not too high. Just a little higher than your head. That's it. And throw it to the other hand. Yeah, you can do it. Yes, perfect. Okay. And now what I'd like for you to do is to pat the ball a little bit like that and try and make it flat if you can. And then you put it on top of your head. Okay? And this is a great camera shot. Okay? And then you kind of look around at the people around you and see how silly they look. Look how silly the other people look. Okay? You shampooed your hair too much. Okay. Now take your left hand and put it behind your back, and your right hand is down by your navel. Okay? And you can move your right hand. Yeah? And then you're going to lean forward, and the ball is going to fall off, and you'll catch it. Maybe. Okay? Great! 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 <laughs> so try it three or four times. Just let it fall off. Okay? Great! Great! <laughs> you can do it. Great! Let it just roll off. Great. Yeah. Great. You can do it. You know what helps some people is to close their eyes. Please close your eyes, and you can still catch it, I promise. Sometimes you can do it better with your eyes closed. Isn't that amazing? Sensory deprivation. <laughs> You're trying to see too much sometimes with our eyes. Now, that's a thought. You're trying to see too much. And you close your eyes, and you can do it better. Isn't that amazing? So maybe we should ask our students to close their eyes when they talk to each other. <laughs> Very good. OK. Now what I'd like for you to do, Yukiko, can you come over here? Um, let's see. Will you be my demonstration subject? Sure. Yes? Sure. OK. Um, have a seat. Relax. Oh. Relax. Um, I have to pass out one handout to them. No, I'll do that afterwards. I've got a series of questions here that I'm going to ask you to answer about the observation. Okay? I'll give it to you right after you observe. Okay? And it will correspond to a lot of different theories and things like that. Um, is it okay if I talk to them while I talk to you at the same time? Okay. Yeah? Do you like this size of balls or do you like sure. the smaller balls? This is fine. This is fine? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So what I'd like for you to do is come a little bit out here okay, next to me. And you're gonna, we're going to do pair juggling. Mm -hmm. um, I'm left hand, you're right hand. Okay. Okay? And remember to keep your eyes up, okay? And you just throw it to me. Go ahead. Okay. Uh -huh. That's it. And your hand will come kind of in and up, okay? Like this. Mm -hmm. Good. Go ahead. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in and up. Okay. okay? And okay. when you throw, I'm going to throw one next, okay? okay? Go ahead and you catch. Good. Good eyes. Excellent. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what do you say? Great. <laughs> Great. Okay. Now. Uh, I'm going to start. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to start. I'm going to throw one first, and then mm -hmm. you'll throw yours in mm -hmm. here. Just look at the one you have to catch. Okay. okay, you ready? Catch. No problem. Great. Okay, so just okay. look at the one you have to catch. Okay. It's only mine. And okay. look at it when it's okay. up here. Ready? Catch. Yes. Whoa, Whoa. you're juggling. <laughs> Perfect. Great. That's great. Can we try the other hand? Okay. You're doing, you're going fast. Okay, so right. I throw here uh -huh. and you just throw inside. Uh -huh. If you think about it, your hand actually goes up right next to the ball and releases uh -huh. and then goes down with the other ball. Uh -huh. You know how you catch a ball on a tennis uh -huh. racket? Uh -huh. Well, it's kind of like that. You're kind of going down and catching it that way. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes up. <laughs> one thing that happens for sure is if you do look down to catch uh -huh. it here, you can't see the next one. Right. And that's why, and you know you can catch it without looking down. So okay. just. The crucial moment of perception is when the ball starts down. That's the moment that your brain has to see it. Mm -hmm. 
you can close your eyes after that. And you can do that yourself. Um, that's the crucial moment of perception. In language teaching, we often think about, hmm, what are the crucial moments of perception? Usually it's when the students first come in. Are they like they were yesterday? Are they even keeled? Are we in good rapport? Or is this person bothered? Or are they upset? What's happening here? And those crucial moments of perception. Yeah. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Look up. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Great. 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 <laughs> Wonderful. OK, one more time. Relax. Okay. Fingers. OK, All right. ready to catch. Super. Whoa. Whoa. OK. <laughs> now we're pushing the I plus one. Uh -huh. <laughs> OK. OK. Now you're going to start with your left hand, and you're just going to go one and two. OK. okay? And I'll, I'll do it first. I go one and two, and stop. One, two, stop. So one, two. You're perfect. Oh. That's great. Again, again. Yeah, one, two, stop. Yeah. One, two. Oh, that's perfect. If you can do that, you're a juggler, because that's all juggling is, I swear. <laughs> you're, this, at this moment, you can pronounce people jugglers. If, and you will all be jugglers like this in a moment, because that's the fractal, the smallest, <laughs> smallest <laughs> pattern, and then it replicates over and over and over again. So if you can go one, two, this just starts off one again, and it goes one, two, <gasps> one, two, and it just repeats, and it gets boring after a while. It really does. Okay, so um, what we're going to do, yes, you're starting with your left hand there, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Let me scaffold one more, one more step. Okay. I'm going to do this hand. You're gonna, okay. You have two. So you're going to okay. start. You're going to throw one. I okay. throw one. You throw the next okay. one. Go ahead. Okay. I think wow. you're learning so fast, you can just go ahead and do it. So look out. <laughs> so you go one, two, one, two, and just oh keep going. Mm -hmm. wow. Okay. And then throw the next one. It's okay. Yes, you can. No. Yes. Good. Good. <laughs> yes. You're doing it. You're doing it. One more time. One more time. That's great. Yes. Hey. <laughs> okay. Have a seat. Thank you.